What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you've got a passion for new movies and for new audio and video gear, then tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. And for review, we've got Men in Black International on 4K Blu-ray. This isn't a movie review, I'm just going to share my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot at 6.5 and 3.4K. It's got a 2K DI. It's rated PG-13. Runtime is 114 minutes. Aspect ratio is 2 to 1, so you'll get very small black bars. I feel this is the worst aspect ratio. It's not quite full screen on your TV, and it's not quite CinemaScope on a 21 by 9 projector screen. It falls right in the middle, although if you're watching on your iPhone, it'll fill the entire screen. Anyways, this is another Sony release, so I think you know what to expect. It's super clean and 4K crispy with tons of little minute details. The close-up shots are sometimes too sharp looking. I don't always need to see every little single pore on these actors' faces, but you do get to see all that and more. The CGI characters were also rendered almost perfectly and sometimes very lifelike. Little Pawnee looked really good. Textures seen throughout all the background scenery, whether it be the desert sand in Marrakesh or the super clean white sterile backgrounds of the MIB headquarters will be a nice showcase for your Ultra HD display. For HDR usage, I didn't find it really eye-popping. I found it to be reserved with a nice natural tone. Colors did have a healthy saturation, but nothing that was bold or really vivid. There are some bright peak highlights from the many explosions, laser fire, and even those space alien guys can get pretty bright. I thought shadow detail was well preserved in even the darkest scenes without any crushing. The black levels were contrasty, giving the image some nice added depth. <laughs> Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and I thought it was a pretty active mix. The interrogation scene in Chapter 2 had some cool overhead height effects with O's voice playing through all four of my height channels. The train transformation in Chapter 4 was another cool scene. When the seats start folding in and things start moving around, you can hear the different sound effects move around to each one of your speakers and it kind of circles all around you. The hard hitting bass when someone gets punched in Chapter 12 will give your subs a bit of a workout. These punches hit hard and will give you a nice little kick in the seats. There's also some very low energy bass during explosions, but it's nowhere near anything like King of the Monsters. Soundstage had a sufficiently wide presence with always easy to hear dialogue firmly planted in the center channel. So for audio, I'm going to go with an 8.9. I thought there were some nice immersive effects that use the height channels often. Bass response was solid and overall, I thought it was a fun mix. For video, I'm going to go with a 9.4. I think if you like a 4K crispy transfer with tons of detail, then this movie's for you. It's not an HDR showcase or anything, but there's great highlights, nice color, and great black levels. I did notice a little banding in some of the backgrounds, but other than that, it's a clean 4K disc. Whether or not the actual movie's good, well, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Now if you want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in the description. If you want, you can follow us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive updates or just have some questions, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.